Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another College Football 25 Dynasty Deep Dive video. This is the final one. It's a little bit more of like the additional details, some of the, you know, scheduling, conference making, as well as trophies and celebrating what you do as well as some of the utility features that are in the uh in the dynasty mode it's a little bit shorter of a video but again thank you so much for being here um sit back relax and enjoy the video delivering the world of college football one of the biggest challenges we faced in the development of college football 25 was the task of recreating everything that makes the sport of college football so unique Unlike most professional sports where so much of the league is templatized and where uniformity helps drive a quest for parity, college football is a sport that marches to the beat of its own drum. It's a sport that thrives on the chaos created by that very lack of conformity. And while that lack of conformity makes college football so special, it also makes the task of building the world of college football so much more challenging. So let's talk about those elements that help immerse you in your coaching journey and the recruiting trail. A new day in college football. A lot has happened since we last made a college football game. Most notably, the entirety of the 14 college football playoff format has come and gone. But this year starts a new day for college football with the 12 team format and you get to experience it first in college football 25. There are a lot of intricacies with how the new college football playoff format works that college football fans will need to get used to. During development, members of our team were able to participate in a mock selection committee session hosted by the CFP to help us better understand the process of how the committee determines their rankings. With the expansion to the new 12-team format, we were able to apply those learnings to project how the committee will value wins and losses in a world where going undefeated in a power conference is going to be less and less common, and the perception of schedule imbalance continues to widen. While the media and coaches' polls run throughout the entire season, you will need to wait for the calendar to turn to November before you start to get the first peek at how the 12-team bracket is shaping up. That will be your first look at both the CFP Top 25 as well as how the playoff would be seeded based on those ranking slash seeding rules. We created unique logic for our college football playoff poll to model how we anticipate the rankings to look in the new format. Generating a believable opinion-based poll is no easy feat, especially one where we are projecting what may happen versus being able to use the real-world results as our reference point. You are what your record says you are is a misnomer in college football, so factors like school and conference prestige can impact where a school finds itself in the CFP poll. Each week of the season, the coaches, media, and CFP polls, along with the 12-team bracket, update based on the most recent results, and the final rankings and bracket are revealed following the completion of conference championship. Once the rankings are set, now it's time to seed the bracket. As many people reading this already know, the 12-team format is a 5 plus 7 model, meaning the five highest ranked conference champions will get automatic berths into the playoff and the remaining seven spots will be filled based on order of the final CFP ranking. The only way to get a first round bye is to be one of the four highest ranked conference champions. So an undefeated Notre Dame or any other independent, as well as the winner of the Pac-12, can be seeded no higher than fifth and will never be eligible to skip the playoff first round. The fifth automatic qualifier that did not get a first round bye will be seeded based on where they rank in the final CFP poll. One of the most exciting parts about the new 12-team format is that the first round games will be played on campus. Hosting one of those games means you will have all of your home field advantage on your sides as you take on your opponent as you look to win and advance. The playoff quarterfinal and semifinal games take place at the bowls formerly known as the New Year's Six. Your Orange Bowl, Sugar Bowl, Rose Bowl, Fiesta, Cotton, and Peach, which rotate annually each year of a dynasty just like they will in real life. The CFP National Championship game has its own rotation of hosts, starting with the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. The championship game will rotate through an additional 10 locations before looping back around as you continue deeper into your dynasty. In addition to college football playoff, we also feature 34 bowl games, each using their real-world bowl tie-ins. So the R&L Carriers New Orleans Bowl will annually feature teams from the Sun Belt and Conference USA. The Trans Perfect Music City Bowl will feature teams from the SEC and Big Ten, etc. Just like the college football playoff bracket, you will get your first look at the bowl projections in the first week of November each season. Each week that you keep winning, you can see yourself climb in the polls, playing in a more prestigious bowl, all while trying to earn a berth in the college football playoff. 
The new era of college football is here. And by the time the 12 team playoff happens in real life, you will already be an expert on how a format works just by playing Dynasty. Meet your new neighbor. Speaking of the dawn of a new era, the latest round of conference realignment has dramatically changed the landscape of college football. And just like the 12 team college football playoff format, you will get to experience that new reality first in college football 25. Every conference is set with their 2024 alignment. The Sun Belt is the last conference to feature divisions, and the scheduling logic has been set for both the current season as well as the future year rotation based on each conference's rule set. The SEC will accurately follow the eight game with one protected opponent rotation, while the Big Ten will utilize their nine game flex protect model and so on. If you need a refresher of who's where, or if you are looking to follow along with the conference races, you can keep an eye on everything on the conference standing screen. Be your own conference commissioner. If you prefer to reset conferences to a previous configuration, push forward to a potential future, or just blow everything up and make whatever conference membership you want and adjust the rules to your liking, you have the power to be the czar of college football and set things how you'd like them with custom conferences. You can reduce any conference to as few as four members and grow any conference to as large as 20 schools. In addition to moving schools into different conferences, you can have a school go independent for the ultimate end schedule flexibility. But remember, it comes at the expense of a potential first round buy in the college football playoff. You will also have the flexibility to edit each conference's rules, determining if they will or will not have divisions, what those division names are, how many conference games will be played annually, if the conference will have a conference championship game, and the location of that championship game either at a neutral site location or at the home stadium of the highest ranked team. You will be able to make adjustments to conference membership and rules when starting a dynasty, as well as at the end of each offseason, giving you total flexibility to change things however you want, both at the start of a dynasty, as well as change the landscape of the future based on your dynasty results, to keep things fresh and interesting as you go deeper into your coaching career. Moving conferences does not mean you are stuck with the old conference's jersey patch for the logo on the 25-yard lines. Those will dynamically update based on conference membership. That's neat. Neato! Oh, dude, getting JMU in the ACC? That's cool. In an online dynasty, only the commissioner can make conference changes. Let's talk schedules. College football is unlike any sport in that so many of the weeks of the season mean something special to so many different schools. It's not enough to make sure that the schedules rotate and that home and away status gets flipped for the new year. If it's the third Saturday in October, Tennessee better be playing Alabama. If it's Thanksgiving weekend, then the Iron Bowl. The big game, Florida State versus Florida, and a host of other rivalry games better be on the table next to the turkey and stuffing. Dynasty Mode scheduling system will make sure those special games get filled in the correct weeks before adding in the rest of the conference and non-conference slate to get each school to their 12 games. For non-conference games, we've included as many real-world games as were announced by the time we had to lock schedules. So when you get to 2027 and 2028, the Florida State-Georgia home and home series will already be scheduled. In 2029 and 2030, the Notre Dame-Alabama home and home will be scheduled, etc. Our schedule generator will be used to fill out everyone's schedule to make sure that every school has 12 games for all 30 years of a dynasty. Kickoff games like Duke's Mayo Classic and the Vegas Classic are here as well and will be scheduled in future years of Dynasty. Another recent addition to the world of college football is the concept of Week Zero. While the season still kicks off on Labor Day weekend for the majority of schools, some get things started the week prior in what has been affectionately named Week Zero. The authentic Week Zero games are scheduled for Year One of Dynasty. And in your future years, Week Zero will get utilized. However, the bulk of schools will still put toe to leather for the first time in their traditional Labor Day week window. You can see your team's entire schedule on the team schedule screen or look at the schedule around the country week by week from scores and schedules. Each week, the broadcast type will be determined based on what is the biggest game on that week's slate. If your game is either a national or streaming broadcast, it will be called by our team of Reese Davis, Jesse Palmer, and David Pollack. The game of the week will be called by Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreit. The crowd themes that our friends in presentation talked about recently also appear in Dynasty. If your team does a whiteout, blackout, checkerboard, striping, etc., you will see those crowd themes in the first home game of the season, for rivalry games, and if you are named as the game of the week. 
Set your schedule. In addition to custom conferences, you can also customize your non-conference schedule via custom schedules every preseason. Conference games are designated with a lock icon and cannot be edited, but your non-conference games do not have a lock signifying they are fair game to edit. Select any week that features a non-conference opponent or any bye week to be able to select a different team to play in that week. You can only have a max of 12 games, so you will need to remove a game before trying to add a new one. When you select a week, you will see all of the available opponents that you can choose from. Some schools will not be available if they are already locked into a conference game in that week, so you will have more luck finding a larger set of available teams earlier in the season before most schools have started conference play. You can also change if the non-conference game is a home or away game by simply toggling the home away status on the schedule screen. To avoid the mass confusion of multiple people trying to edit schedules at the same time, the commissioner in an online dynasty is responsible for making all custom schedule changes. Oh shit, that's gonna be time consuming. Team Builder and Online Dynasty. Team Builder is back. You can import up to 16 Team Builder teams in a private online dynasty. The commissioner will need to replace existing FBS schools with the Team Builder teams they want to add when setting up the dynasty. Including Team Builder schools is only available at the creation of the league, and they can only be used in private online dynasty. So make sure your commissioner knows which school you want to use when getting the online dynasty started. To burn a shirt or not to burn a shirt? The changes in the world of college football have not been limited to off the field. Handling red shirts have also seen a recent overhaul, and to keep in line with the real world, we have implemented the ability to play in up to four games in a season and still be eligible to take a red shirt. Each preseason, you will have the option of selecting which players you for sure want to redshirt, and during the course of the season, you can monitor how many games each player has played in in order to make the determination on if you want to keep playing that player, or have him sit the remainder of the year in order to preserve his redshirt status. Those four games can be played at any point in the season, so you can get a freshman some game reps early in the year, and then hold them out until the end of the season, and then bring them back in for a playoff run if wear and tear has run your roster down and you need a fresh body when the season matters most. Once a player has played in their fifth game in a season, they are no longer eligible for a red shirt that year, but will be eligible for a red shirt the following year. If micromanaging red shirts is not your thing, no worries at all, anyone who is eligible for a red shirt at the end of the season will have it automatically applied. That's helpful. Earning some hardware. College football loves to celebrate accomplishment. Whether it's reclaiming a 100 plus year old water jug from a rival like the annual Michigan slash Minnesota game, a coach hoisting up the SEC championship trophy in Atlanta in early December, or the most outstanding player in college football striking the iconic pose just one week later, college football and awards are synonymous. Rivalry trophies will be on the line and the winner of each contest takes home both the trophy and bragging rights for the year. Conference, bowl, and national titles will contribute both to your coach's pedigree but also to the school's program tradition grade. When it comes to individual awards, the conversation has to start with the most storied trophy in all of sports, the Heisman Memorial Trophy, which is awarded annually to the most outstanding player in college football. Each week of the season, keep tabs on the Heisman Watch to see who is in the running for the prestigious award, as the Heisman race heats up as we get to the award being announced heading into the first bowl week. In addition to the Heisman, we have other individual position awards like the Lou Groza, Lombardi, and Unitas Golden Arm Award, among others. We also have the Broyles Award for the best coordinator in the country to go along with our Head Coach of the Year Award. Preseason and postseason All-American teams are named annually as well. In the preseason, both first and second team All-American teams are named at the national and conference level. The postseason All-American teams feature the first, second, and freshman teams at the national and conference level too. You will be able to follow the nominees and finalists for awards from the CFB tab of the Dynasty Hub. The All-American teams are announced in the preseason as well as the first week of bowl season, when the other awards are handed out. In addition to annual awards, players of the week on offense and defense are determined both at the national and conference level. Records are made to be broken. No career mode would be complete without the tracking of player stats and the record book. Season stats track individual player stats for the current season, while team stats track a number of categories at the team level for the current season. Career stats track individual player stats for the entirety of their collegiate career. Coach stats track the lifetime accomplishments and also serves as a way to get a look at each coach's current job security status so that you can get an early look at what jobs may become available on the coaching carousel. The record book covers player records on the career, season, and game level. Every stat category and every record is tracked at the national, conference, and team level. 
College Football 25 is the first time we have track records at a conference level, giving you one more set of milestones to try and break during a career. Play for pride. Stickers. For certain schools like Ohio State and Florida State, the pride stickers that are applied to an individual player's helmet over the course of the season are as iconic as any other tradition in college football. Each season, the helmet starts fresh, and over the course of the season, based on each player's performance, pride stickers are added to give a visual representation of that player's accomplishment. Oh, dude, I thought that was a real picture. That's crazy. We worked with each school to understand their fill pattern to make sure that as the stickers are being applied over the course of a season, they are being added in the correct pattern based on how the school applies them in real life. That is nuts. So what else? No Dynasty Deep Dive is complete without going through some of the utility features of the mode. Both online and offline Dynasty can go for up to 30 seasons. Up to 32 users can participate in a Dynasty, offline or online. Only one user per school. The commissioner is in charge of determining the settings for the Dynasty. The roster file that's used at League Creation handles all custom conferences and custom schedule changes and is responsible for advancing the Dynasty to the next week slash offseason stage. No pressure. You can keep track of everyone's status in the members screen. Commissioner status can be transferred from the members screen as well. Commissioners will have the ability to force a win in the event that a game was not able to be completed. And for those of you that like to restart a game versus the computer that isn't going your way, the number of times a game was started is tracked on the scores and schedules screen for all to see. That's hilarious. We made, I know sometimes like there were things that were, that caused us to like have issues in the old one, like lagging out or something like that. So we'll, I think we'll allow for one restart like period, um, but we'll track that as it goes. <clears throat> Post game speech. Congratulations if you've made it this far in the blog and in the video. Standing at nearly 17,000 words and 85 pages, this blog is a representation of how passionate this team is about the game and how passionate I am about this game. The level of dedication, commitment, and passion is what makes this team special and both of us are proud to be a part of it. The entire team has a do whatever it takes mentality because we know how important this game and more specifically dynasty mode is to you, the community. Like we said at the top, at the end of the day, everything centered around one goal, satisfy the core community because this is their game. This is your game. Our entire team embraced this and tried our best to embody it each and every day. It's an incredible journey and we couldn't be more excited for you to finally experience it. Thank you to the entire team and to the community for your passion, excitement, and support for this game. With that being said, we will see you again soon for the next deep dive. What a great vlog. What a long video. Man, what a video. What a way to end this four-part series for the Dynasty Deep Dive for College Football 25. On the day where College Football 25 releases, it is July 15th at about 11 a.m. I'm finishing up editing for this video and getting ready and prep for uh, streaming tonight as well as creating more YouTube content for you guys to enjoy. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. It really does help. If you want to see more, subscribe down below. If you're struggling with finding out which Dynasty team you want to use, check out this video here and it'll help you determine what type of Dynasty you can run. Thank Thank y'all again so much. I've been Alfred Avenue. See ya!